All right, well, that's just a thing that happened then, I guess. It's been like that for a long time. Yeah, but what's the story behind it? That's the question. That's the question, my, my friend. Oh, and here we have... A mess... No, no, no message. All right. Um, so... As we hop over to here, if you haven't seen it, Mr. Micro, Mr. Keke, and the Noster have contributed to producing this ever so nice legendary chest, uh, 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 tier two. Sorry. I keep calling it legendary gold. It's just legendary. So um, if you can't remember, quite some time back. Oh, I'm not going to be able to find it easily, am I? No. Okay. Uh, um, what if I type in legendary over here? Yeah, yeah, this this might be the answer. If I type legendary here. There we go. Right, so. You, of course, remember the likes of the face mask. You, of course, remember the likes of the chest plate. Very nice, very cool. But if we quickly hop over to here, we now finally have the tier 2 armor. So. How many of you own a legendary face mask? I own two. <laughs> yeah, I got two. I got one from a buy order and I bought one. And I never ended up selling it, but I might sell it soon because, well, there you go. Cool. Chat, do you like what you see? I own like six. <laughs> I mean, it didn't have to be a, a brag. But they did get pretty cheap earlier this year before the chest plate appeared. Actually, we can show that off. Legendary collection. So when did it come out? It was August, wasn't it? Chest plate came out in August. So when the, when this appeared, right, it sold for four dollars a piece. Oh, yeah, how low did this go? Let's just remind ourselves. So th so currently it's one dollar sixty, hundred twenty seven on the market. That's relatively okay. Oh my god, look at that! Whoa, what's going on here? Did someone buy out the stock? Someone's probably bought out stock. No, no, no one's bought out stock. Right then, so this is a funny old thing. There are 127 gold chest plates on the Steam market. Now, by default, you might, nah, that's quite a lot. Over 100 of them are above $3. Well, <laughs> so yeah, this is, this is, this is the reason why I always encourage people to take a look at the likes of some extensions because they really do help you get a better picture in understanding whether a skin is truly uh, swamped, I guess you could say, or, uh, well, you know, <laughs> looking pretty appealing. So, yeah, we we, we, we got to remind ourselves, how much did the chest plate sell? It did 12,400 bare minimum sales, which is quite a lot compared to the face mask, but that's what happens when one skin appears after the other after about five years. That's not too hard to comprehend, is it? But, like, we looked at that, and we were making some comparisons to, like, the Tempered Collection. Do you remember this? Do you remember this whole situation? Let me just turn that fan off. So, Tempered Collection had a very, very similar situation. The face mask was accepted back in 2016. There's only so many of them that were bought. Get a good look at that real quickly, just to see the data. Yes, yes, yes. So, 145 people, bare minimum, bought it. But, again... Much like if you saw, if do you remember my first unboxing video for uh, for the weapon barrels? Uh, I I opened a tempered face mask. People can still generate new skins through loot boxes. So over time, maybe quite a decent amount of these were opened in um, in uh, high quality bags. And uh, yeah, so anyway, moving on. Last year, we saw this being accepted, and everybody went crazy, and everybody jumped in and bought some, and we ended up with around 25,000 bare minimum sales, and there's probably a lot more in circulation, because people probably buy multiples. This led to the problem of, there's far too many chest plates in comparison to uh, face masks, and it, that was always going to be the case. That was always going to be the case, because, you know, this, was, this came out like six years later. So what eventually happened was, this $3 chest plate went all the way down, and it sunk. Because there's just far too many of them in circulation compared to actual genuine demand. The uh, the people who actually would buy it to use it. So, yeah, tons of them on the Steam market. And as you can see right here, it kind of, 
Yeah, it's never going to go back up to about $3, unfortunately. It has its moments going back up in price a fair bit, but it never really even goes close to about $2. So, yeah, this was always screwed. But, again, do you see how there's a lot more listings here? It comes across as, like, a lot more natural. Well, again, if we quickly help back over to... Um, to uh, where, where were we on the uh, situation in regards to Legendary? Hopping back over to Legendary, the chest plate actually isn't that bad like it did have its moments it did go pretty like down pretty sharply um come on load up don't be shy come on here we go perfect so yes this currently right now one dollar sixty you open it up there you go hardly anything there easily can boost all the way back up to three dollars and if we just scroll down and look at its sales history yeah it had its moments lowest point like most skins this year beginning of october look at that but since then it's been on an upward trend, like most skins. So, as you can see from here to here, it's basically doubled in price over the course of six weeks. And uh, I accidentally showed this, but I could bring this up again. So, uh, if you are aware, there's so many bombing and, like, temper Thompsons in circulation, but they're always, like, fairly well in demand. In fact, if I were to show the front page of the uh, st Rust Steam Market right now, you can clearly see bombing Thompsons right there. Point I'm trying to get across is... This is a great way to get a good idea for the current health of the uh, the Rust economy. And if you just scroll down, yep, lowest point of, out of all of this year was, of course, beginning of October. And then since then, it's only going up. So from here to here, it's also basically doubled in price. So things are improving overall. But that right there is just by default for this chest plate. All right. If we do see the likes of this ever so nice and shiny legendary tier 2 armor being accepted, ooh, all the better. But now that you know about this, if this were to be accepted, what's going to happen to this now? Well, it's easily going to go up in price, isn't it? So, again, I reiterate my point. Having those useful extensions, and like I said, this is all thanks to uh, Steam Inventory Helper, Probably spelt it wrong. No, it's fine. Now, I can't actively encourage it upon you, but there are other extensions out there as well. Like, it's up to you to find one that you're most compatible with. But just being able to see more has opened so much more to me. Uh, I can tell pretty easily what's going to happen if we do potentially see that tier 2 armor being accepted and... Uh, it's going to go up in price ever so nicely. So now that we know this information, what do you do next? Now, again, you can't... Face Punch is weird with their picks. We know. We we know. We know. They, they'll look at something and they'll just pass on it. Like, uh, over the past two Rust stores, <laughs> what did we see with so many Tier 2 uh, armor skin... Uh, you know, uh, armor candidates in the preparation? So we had, like, San Rano. We had Comics. We had Thunder Gold. We had hard suit, yeah, we had those. None of them were picked. But hey, maybe that that maybe that one does. Maybe, maybe. We can only sit here and say maybes, but face punch tends to be a little bit weird with their choices, so we shall see. We shall see, chat, won't we? Chat, do you have any uh, questions, issues, or problems? Feel free to uh, speak on them if you'd like. But at the very least, keep an eye on all of these skins. Because of course. I'm slowly building up the brand new Rust Workshop Skin Checks uh, collection. So far, we're at 54. We've got maybe another mm, 11 hours until it's all wrapped up. I wouldn't be surprised if we see maybe another 40 or 50 being uploaded within that time. Oh, God. But I've got to add it all. <laughs> but yeah, that's just uh, me currently in the process of building this up. We are keeping an eye on all the newest submissions. And do we see another one? Oh, there you go. There's a new one. Dark Schneider... With Z Skipper have produced Scavenger Hoodie and Pants. So yes, this is what you should be doing on the likes of Sundays and Mondays. Keeping an eye on everything that's being submitted. Getting a good look at, you know, is it part of a collection? And then attacking, because, you know, with what we learned with the likes of uh, this over here, things are now looking interesting in terms of potentially wanting to make an investment. So, yeah, this is the normal routine, isn't it? Uh, made another skin trying to keep up with the boys. Keep it up, Dejima, you know? <laughs> Everyone else does it like a routine. If you do too, 
eventually you'll get your first ever acceptance and i look forward to it just keep up the good work and yeah so other than that now a nice little tidbit of information i hope and uh the more you know so always keep an eye on the likes of the workshop always keep an eye out for potential collection continuations <laughs>